Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. As always, I'm your host, David Burroughs, and this week's episode, episode number 30, and it's thanks to all of you that the show is still going strong here uh, for subscribing and sharing. That's uh, that's what I want to thank you for, and if you haven't subscribed, please take the time to subscribe to this channel, and especially, please, take time to share this link with five new friends every week so we can keep getting the word out there about the show and that'll help us bring you bigger and bigger things here on the show. So many things happening around the Sarnia area all the time, but especially in summertime, warm time, if you will, the weather seems to be cooperating a little bit more. Still got some rain, but that's okay. It keeps the grass green and growing, right? So many things we've got happening this weekend and all through the summer. We're going to do our very best to keep you updated on what's happening. Got a very special show for you, as always. Uh, coming up a little bit later on, a very special interview, an all-female tribute band. A tribute band to Leonard Skinner. They're called Lynette Skinner. And we were able to uh, get a Skype interview with a couple of the members from Lynette Skinner all the way from Southern California. And we hooked up with these ladies and we had a fun interview. And we're going to show you some of their music. That's coming up a little bit later. But first, let's talk about some of the things that are happening this weekend here in the Sarnia area. This Saturday, June the 2nd, the annual... Sarnia Art Walk is happening here once again. Sarnia Art Walk 2012, boasting 20,000 participants this year. And many musicians, local artists, there's fun things to do for the kids. And it all starts Saturday, 8 o'clock in the evening. Running red lights will be kicking off the music down in the Scotiabank parking lot. And joining them as well, the Great Owls will be playing down there uh, in the evening as well, down in the Scotiabank parking lot. So, all happening all weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the Sarnia Art Walk 2012, and we're hoping to get down there with a show camera to interview some of the musicians and artists and everything that's happening down there. But uh, and hopefully we got some great weather coming up for that because it's always a great time. I was down there last year. Check out the Sarnia Art Walk 2012 beginning this Saturday. All right, also uh, kind of a fun event put together by some friends. It sort of just came together, but uh, Hippie Fest 2012. I don't know if you're a hippie. I'm not a hippie, and it doesn't matter. You don't have to be a hippie. I don't, they're just calling it Hippie Fest. But anyway, um, this is a, a local party, uh, sort of a local party out on Rokeby Line. You can get tickets down at the Sarnia Rocks store uh, from Michelle, which is located at the corner of Mitten and Davis at the Sarnia Rocks store. Tickets are $15, and it's not a greed fest. The $15 is just to help pay for all the, the tents and the bands. There's going to be like three or four bands playing down there. It's BYOB, folks. Um, I think they've got a shuttle going. I don't have all the details, but get a hold of Michelle down at SarniaRocks.com or stop into the uh, SarniaRocks.com store at the corner of Mitten and Davis. Michelle's got the tickets and all the information. Sounds like a whole lot of fun. I'm hoping to get, I don't know if I, how, how I'm going to get everywhere this weekend. But anyway, Hippie Fest 2012 also coming underway. Mentioned on last week's show, uh, Elvis fans uh, happening down at the Trinity Lounge. A tribute to Elvis Presley and Buddy Holly happening this Saturday, June the 2nd, down at the Trinity Lounge at 9 p.m., I believe. Tickets are $20 at the door. They're not a cheeky monkey. I said that last week. I apologize. But $20 at the door. And this gentleman's down from uh, Oshawa, Ontario, and he's going to do an incredible, incredible show. And it's, again, the Elvis tribute and Buddy Holly tribute down at the Trinity Lounge. Tickets only $20 at the door, you're going to want to check that out as well. All right, going to take a quick break. Just want you to pay attention to what's on the screen. Maybe jot these things down, and then we'll be back to talk more. All right, welcome back to the show once again. Just some important information I'd like to keep sharing with you, and I hope you'll take the time to write some of those numbers down and share with your family and friends. All right, some more fun things that are happening down uh, in the Sarnia area. One of my funnest, bestest things ever to do in the summertime, warm time, is to visit my friends down at the Duke d'Orleans on the cruise ship down at the Duke d'Orleans. Ken and Sherry and all the staff, always very hospitable, and lots of entertainment happening every weekend, as well as they have some lunch cruises and other things happening. If you'd like to find out, you can give Sherry a call at 337-5152. Sherry would be happy to talk to you and tell you what's going on, or keep it nice and simple, if you will. 
and visit www.dukedarlenes.com. Always, always lots of fun things happening down there. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, a little bit of a lead, and our friend Southern Fried Incorporated will be on the Duke Darlene's this Saturday, June the 2nd, and uh, you'll be allowed to start boarding at 630 the boat leaves the dog at 7 and will return promptly at 10 o'clock. Southern Fried Inc. In, 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 sorry, Incorporated, if you will. Uh, if you remember, we talked to them a couple of months ago down at the Stubborn Mule. Great Southern Rock. And uh, they're going to do some originals and some covers. And it's going to have a whole lot of fun. Tickets for this, $20, available down at Cheeky Monkey. Once again, Southern Fried Incorporated on the Duke d'Orleans this Saturday. All right, coming up, we've got the interview. But first, uh, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back. Ah, yes, Sarnia Rib Fest coming up uh, very shortly. Well, you see there the weekend of the 14th through the 17th, and it all starts off on Thursday with Whiskey Rain, Third Wave, and Everglow going to be playing on the Thursday evening, and we're very, very excited. Coming up on next week's show, we have an exclusive interview with Everglow. Going to be playing down at the Sarnia Rib Fest on the Thursday evening, and we've got some other interviews. Hopefully, we'll get in time for the show next week as well, but definitely got Everglow going to be here on the show uh, via Skype interview. Looking forward to that and looking forward to the whole weekend down at Sarnia Rib Fest. All right, let's move on. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we're very, very excited. All the way from Southern California, this all-female tribute band, a tribute to Leonard Skinner. They are called Lynette Skinner. And uh, we got a chance to talk to them and ask them some neat questions. And uh, these, we only got two of the ladies out of the band to talk to us, but uh, they were a lot of fun. And I uh, wish could have had more time to put them here on the show, but uh, here's here's what we've got for you. So once again, take a look at this exclusive interview all the way from Southern California. Here is Lori S. and Cherry Garcia from Lynette Skinner. Take a look at this interview. Hi, everybody. Uh, as promised, we have a very special guest here on the show with us. Uh, very, very excited, actually, all the way from uh, Southern California. Uh, we've got a couple of the ladies from a Leonard Skinner tribute band known as Lynette Skinner. Did I say that right, ladies? Sounds good. Yeah. Hey. And, and we've got Cherry Garcia. She's wearing the hat there. And then, and then we've got Lori there as well. Thanks for taking the time to join us here, ladies. Thank you. There you go. Um, it, it took us some time to get together, but we're, we're finally going to be talking. We're so excited to have you here talking uh, with us on the show. And... Um, I just gonna want to jump right into things here uh, because I think it's really neat what Lynette Skinner is doing here, if you will. And uh, you know, a, a lot of women in, that, that sing lyrics written by men, you, you, you tend to often transpose them to make them uh, more gender appropriate, if you will. But why why do you leave Ronnie's lyrics the same as they are? Why is that? Well, I always felt uh, growing up on Skinner that Ronnie was the storyteller. His right. Right. songs were not necessarily about him specifically. Even if he said, uh, I love you, it doesn't necessarily mean that it was coming from him. And he was telling a story. And when I was singing his lyrics, I feel like I'm telling Ronnie's story. Ah. So, and, so, and accurate, so for accuracy purposes, then? Accuracy and... Um, and also, out of paying homage to them, we have so much respect for their music. We want to present it the way it was meant to be presented, from the perspective of the writers. Right. And, and the, other, the other thing is that, you know, when a woman sings the same lyrics without changing it, it automatically changes the meaning of it just by the mere fact that a female is singing it. Now, uh, there's so many tribute bands out there. I mean, everybody, lot, lots and lots of different tribute bands. But um, so, like, I got. I guess I've got to ask you. Like, of all the bands you could have chosen to tribute, why uh, Leonard Skinner? What was the reason for that? Well, I grew up on Leonard Skinner. It's always been near and dear to my heart. Um, when I was a kid, my older sister brought me to a, a Leonard Skinner concert, and it changed my life. And uh, well, maybe TMI, but, you know, uh, yeah, she knows, <laughs> I know where, this, she knows I know where I'm this. going with this, but I lost my virginity in the back seat of a 69 Chevy Tala, <laughs> and uh, Freebird was on the radio, so, and maybe that has 
something. Good thing it was a long song, eh? (laughs) (laughs) So now. What would be an ultimate tour? Uh, I mean, everybody's got a tour. What would be the ultimate tour for Lynette Skinner? Well, interestingly enough, just today on our Facebook page, somebody said, my ultimate concert would be Lynette Skinner opening for Government Mule. And I was like, ooh, that sounds good. Uh, I like that. But actually, my dream concert, oh, don't bring him into this. So you won't hear it. Give them a yeah. <laughs> Um, my dream concert would be Lynette Skinner opening for Black Oak, Arkansas, and ZZ Top. What about, uh, you guys played the grand opening um, of Leonard Skinner's Barbecue and Beer uh, for Leonard Skinner themselves. Uh, what was that like for you? That had to be exciting. Well, I always say the same thing to everybody. I'm glad I wore underwear that night because uh, I did not know those guys were going to be out in the audience and we were playing. So uh, it was nerve-wracking, but it was one of those uh, experiences that you remember for a lifetime. And every time I think about it, it makes me real happy. And they're great guys. They're really wonderful people to talk to, friendly, sweet guys. So you got, you got to meet them. You've met them as well then. Is that right? Yeah. And we ate their barbecue. <laughs> you ate well, their barbecue? <laughs> Well, it's a restaurant, and a, and a lot of uh, rock stars are branching out into oh. restaurant uh, industry, and so that's their new restaurant, and it's in the Excalibur in Las Vegas, and of right. course they they have concerts there too, and since it was the grand opening, we played the first night, and then Leonard Skinner played the second night, so we oh. can honestly say that we've been on the same stage as Leonard which a lot of tribute fans don't get to say, and that's right. um, proud of that fact. And actually, uh, Dale Rockington and Carol Chase, who are the background vocalists for uh, Leonard Skinner, alias the Honkettes, they came on stage and they sang Sweet Home Alabama with us, and that was incredible and exciting, and it, it really just opened up a whole new world. I mean, we really, after hearing what we sounded like with those girls, on vocals, we were just like, all right, we got to just up the notch a little bit with background vocals. Oh, it's just there. And they were just great girls. And it was really good. And really good doing music with them. Very exciting. Um, if you, and you might have already done this, but if, if you could ask your counterparts uh, any question, what would you ask them? Well, that seems very intuitive. I'll let you start with that. Well, um, I ended up asking Peter Keyes, who's currently with the Skinner Dan, the question I would want to ask is, how the hell do you play this shit? I mean, stuff. <laughs> yes, I, I forget. You know. So, uh, and I, he said, it, it is hard. It's hard stuff. It's a lot of work. Sure. There, was no, there was no secret, no shortcut, and Billy Powell was Billy Powell. So, I mean, that's about the only question I had for him. Right. Lori, what about you? Would you have a question, or have you already asked him one? Go back in time and talk to Ronnie Van Zant himself. There's yeah. a lot of questions I would ask him, too, about uh, really stupid things. <laughs> the one question that I always kind of wanted to know is that in books and testimonials from other people, they all said Ronnie never wrote a lyric down. He, they were always just memorized. Really? And yeah, which is astounding to me that he, not just that he didn't write the lyrics down but for, for memorization purposes, but even just right to the recording process. He would just walk in and it would just be right up here. And that's amazing um, to me. Now, you're an all-female band, so how, how is being in a band with women different than playing music with men? Careful how you answer that. <laughs> and, you know, both of us have been in other bands, both with women and with men, and um, obviously women are more a little bit more sensitive to a degree. Sure. Um, sensitive. You are! <laughs> but um, there's something about the energy and the camaraderie of being in an all-female band that makes doing this really worthwhile. It's, it's, there's an energy 
that people pick up on. And even last night, we actually we did like a secret show um, in Orange County, and the singer from the other band, a female, came up to me, and she was just like, "Yeah, you know, I've only been in in side bands, and it was just so energizing watching you, and it just made me want to do it because it just made me feel like." this is a girl gang and you're all doing it and you're all doing it for the same reasons and yeah. it was just a really cool thing. Uh, plans for the future for Lynette Skinner. What can we expect to see? Well, we're hoping to get into the studio and do some recordings as soon as possible because there's such a demand for it. I can't think of one day that doesn't go by where a fan doesn't send a request for more music because right now we're very limited in what we have as far as what we can get out there to show people this is what we do. Right. People look for us on YouTube, but I don't think that is as representational of what we can do as a good recording would be. So that is first and foremost. So we're working for it. Uh, ladies, that. thank you both so much for joining us here on the show, and I hope that uh, if you ever come in Canada away that uh, you'll mail me some tickets or something so that I can come and see you. That would be uh, very great. We're going to... Uh, um, uh, share more with uh, uh, Lynette Skinner to, uh, to the viewers here on the show what they're about and uh, we're going to even try to show uh, maybe a video here uh, as well so ladies once again thank you so much for joining us and all the best to you thank you David ladies and gentlemen once again uh, uh, Jerry Garcia and uh, uh, or sorry Cherry I said Jerry I don't know why I'm doing that sorry Cherry Garcia and Lori from <laughs> Lynette Skinner joining us uh, here on the show and we're going to talk more about them stay tuned we'll be right back all right, once again, a couple of ladies from Lynette Skinner, uh, Cherry Garcia, and Lori S. We had so much fun talking to you. Thank you, ladies, for taking the time to talk to us from Southern California. A couple of folks uh, in the band that weren't there, Kathy Lauer and Luann Landau and Slave Bellum. I hope I said all those names right. Uh, they weren't able to join us, but they're a part of the band as well. Check out LynetteSkinner.com. Go to their website. They've also got some merchandise for sale on there and videos and pictures and when you get the idea. Visit them at LynetteSkinner.com, and we're looking forward to staying in touch with them. Ladies, we wish you all the best in your tribute band, and we'll look forward to hearing from you again. All right, time to move on and start wrapping up the show uh, again. Don't forget uh, SarniaRibFest.com. You can check that out for what's happening at Sarnia Rib Fest. We do have an exclusive interview coming up on next week's show, Everglow. We'll be talking to us via Skype, and we will have an awesome, fun interview with them. I just know it's going to be great. Of course, they're going to be there on the Thursday evening, along with Whiskey Rain and Third Wave to kick off the 2012 Rib Fest. And you can check that out at SigningRibFest.com. Also, don't forget, hip-hop fans, the Lost Souls Hip Hop Showcase coming down to the Stubborn Mule. June the 30th. It's a Saturday. Tickets are only $5, and you can get them down at Cheeky Monkey. Get down there to Cheeky Monkey. And coming up next week, I'll tell you how you can win some free tickets, but, hey, they're only 5 bucks. Get down to Cheeky Monkey, buy some, and uh, have fun with a hip-hop evening. It's going to be a lot of fun with the Lost Souls Hip-Hop Showcase down at the Stubborn Mule. All right, just before I wrap up the show, I just want to mention to you, you may or may, may not know, say may or may not know, there I go again, you may or may not know that I now have a second show added to the Show with David Burroughs series, if you will. Every Wednesday, I'm still going to come out with my pre-recorded show talking about uh, local events and local talent that's happening here in town, and we're going to keep that rolling for you. But I also found there to be some, um, well, issues, as there's always issues out there, and I wanted to give people a chance to be able to voice themselves. So now, every Monday evening at 9.30 Eastern Time, there will be a, the show goes live with David Burroughs, and we're going to be talking about news issues, uh, local issues, and some worldwide issues as well. It's an interactive live talk show, so you can actually go online and uh, ask your questions. We'll have special guests on there, and we can even bring you on the show to uh, give your opinion. If you'd like to be on either one of these shows, um, I've got a, some help out there now. Uh, my agent and producer for the show is Joe Bird, and you can get a hold of him at Joe Bird, that's J O E B U R D, at davidburrows.ws. Send your emails to Joe Bird at davidburrows.ws, and he will make arrangements to get you on either this show or the live show, whichever works best. Okay, so please uh, join the Facebook group, uh, The Show with David Burrows, and stay in touch. And we're looking forward to having some more fun with our new live show. 
and keeping you entertained as to what's happening down here. Don't forget, Michelle down at SarniaRocks.com. And also, for all the news that is the news in Sarnia, please visit LampdenShield.com. Before we go, uh, well, I'm going to say goodbye to you now. I think that's, uh, yeah, we can go throw that away. Um, to wrap up the show, we've got a video from Lynette Skinner. They were able to open up the... Uh, Leonard Skinner Beer and Barbecue down at the Excalibur in Las Vegas. They got to open up for Leonard Skinner to share the stage with them, if you will. And uh, we grabbed one of their YouTube videos. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a great week and an even better weekend. We'll see you next time right here on the show. Bye for now.